For me, that whole uh, thing about depression, suicidal thoughts is kind of uh, is only a backstory that you don't even get to see a lot in the film. Yeah. There are many different ways you could read this film. I mean, me and Natalie had a bit of a uh, discussion. Disagreement. <laughs> Hi all, this is Silesh Ram, AsianCultureVulture.com. We're going to be talking to Vijay Jaipal, the director behind the film Nirvana In, which stars Adil Hussain, and it screens at the UK Asian Film Festival. I'm joined by Natalie Barras, ATV's video editor in Mumbai. What was the inspiration for this film? How did you come upon the idea? I stumbled upon this news report, you know, many years back about a, about a flight accident that happened somewhere in Europe. I think it was Germany. And when they started investigating, they came to know that one of the pilots had suicidal thoughts and he intentionally crashed the flight. So I wanted to make a film about the psyche of this guy because I was fascinated about what this guy was going through when he really took a decision like that because it's a huge decision to make. So to kill yourself and in the process also kill others, which is you know, terrible. So what or where is Nirvana in? I always wanted to make a film like The Shining. So when I started writing the script, it became a story about this guy moving into this resort. And I was looking for a name for this resort. And at, at some level, the film is also you know, exploring themes of reincarnation, the cycle of you know, birth and rebirth and death and all of that. So I thought maybe Nirvana uh, Hin could be a good you know, title for the film and also a good title for this resort that the story is set in. <laughs> we shot the film in Manali, uh, uh, which is an ill station in uh, Himachal Pradesh. It was a real resort. And uh, in fact, we were uh, when we were shooting, there were other guests mm-hmm. who were staying uh, because we didn't have the money to take full no. control of the resort. So yeah. luckily, yeah. we went at a time where there were a few guests. Guests, so we somehow managed, uh, you know, to shoot quietly without, you know, uh, rising uh, I, I... alarming bells. The location that you chose, obviously, I think, was really integral to the story itself and that kind of sense of isolation absolutely because we were going for the atmosphere because it is not a conventional horror film and uh, we, we are here exploring the psyche of a troubled mind and you need the landscape to reflect that you no know, mood space of that person and did you at any point regret choosing that location when you then had to get yourself and your whole film crew up there <laughs> <laughs> yes yes that was that was something which we realized even on day one because uh, it was a logistical uh, mess. <laughs> uh, especially for a, for an independent film like this where you have very limited uh, no, money, resources and time. We shot this film in 19 days in Manali. Uh, that's, that's a very because... short period of time for making a feature film. That is crazy short. Yes, because I had no other choice. You know, I had I, I had only that much money. So yes, as you said, it was you uh, know the very first day I realized, oh my God, why did I even come here? I could have shot this film in Madras or you know, Hooti. But uh, of course, you no know, filmmaking is a challenging uh, odyssey, right? You no, know, sometimes you embark on something which oh. and uh, uh, you know you you stumble upon a lot of happy accidents and things like that, and you need those happy accidents to make a good film. So yes, it was difficult. Did you want uh, Adil Hussain? Was it important to get him to play the lead character? Yes, because after reading the script, the first name, as I told you, that came to my mind, uh, you know, play this character was Adil. Because, see, the story is very dramatic at the core, but the treatment was going to be very subtle. You know, even though we call it psychological horror, it is not a typical horror film. So even in terms of acting, I wanted someone who can show a lot of restraint, though he is going through a lot in his mind. For me, what was challenging was that how a person, uh, an actor, could play this convincingly. That is he, uh, you know, that constant uh, wonder at the same time, he cannot show that he is uh, horrified or he is completely bewildered by the presence of these dead people. The guest I have, formality, I have 
there are many different ways you could read this film. I mean, me and Natalie had a bit of a uh, discussion, maybe even argument. Disagreement? <laughs> how it might be interpreted. But for you, is he dead? Is he alive? Are those guests dead or alive? Well, what's, what's your take? <laughs> well, I think the best, uh, the USP of this film is that oh, uh, where there are so many interpretations that you can really you know, draw. Having said that, I do have some uh, explanations that I can give, but I think if I give away those explanations, then it really takes the fun of a film like this. No, okay. uh, I would. I'll be happy if people watch the film multiple times to draw their own conclusions. It is an amazingly written film, and um, I think that audience members will be intrigued and they will keep asking these questions. Did the director? <laughs> explain it to you no he didn't you see that's the beauty of it that every actor was given uh, freedom to choose his or her own backstory for me it was important that i believed that these are real people and probably i'm doubting are they real or they are not so that was the area that gray area that i was sort of going back and forth Another thing I must uh, talk to you about, we were, I was talking to Natalie about this, the scenes with Moni, the female character who's almost uh, a love interest. How did you conceive the character of Moni and the kind of uh, the interplay between her and the central character, Joggy? Did that come about organically or did you really write it in that, in that way? It was organic in a way. Uh, the intention was to make this guy fall in love with a ghost aapko mazuli ke bare mein kuch bhi yaad nahi hai main buri yaade hamesha bhula deti hu we just followed our feelings rashri is such an intuitive actor and uh, i i i really think she's amazing amazing uh, you know actor who just there in the moment for you and she focuses on the other on, on the co-actor kya tumhe main pasand nahi ho tumhe main jaldi hi pasand aane lagungi all these characters that he see or basically manifestations of his past so so the idea was to create a mixed emotion for jogi where he is kind of dreading the family but on the other hand he is kind of falling in love with this woman uh, in a way or maybe she is trying to seduce him in a way uh, because uh, she's called mohini which is like uh, you know in the indian mythology it's yeah. it's, it's a word for uh, mystery in fact there were a lot of other things which were there in the script Right. which were in the first cut which we had to take out it had more uh, significant uh, meaning uh, you know in the script and as well as in the first draft which we shot but then we had to make it more lean mera naam leela hai main yahan bahut time se reh rahi hu us cottage mein one thing that me and silesh discussed actually was the other female character and we wondered whether there was more to her in like a previous version that you'd had to get rid of is there anything you can kind of throw our way any little tidbits of more to her and her backstory and the role that she plays within the film there was more to her in the script as well as in the first cut in fact uh, the the version that premiered in busan was a longer version that character and more to her she actually is a is a film maker who's staying in that resort to write a horror film so she's been a long term guest of that place so she's a writer she's a film maker she's trying to write horror film so in fact there were there were scenes in the script where she'll be watching a lot of horror films sitting in the confines of a room and writing and maybe that is also one of the reasons why her mind got messed up towards end i'm yeah. glad that you've cleared that up i want you to do a non commercial edit of this film and bring it back to its <laughs> longer length of every single scene that you shot that's the full the full story the, the director yeah. as it were yeah yeah we, in fact we are working on that we are working on that and uh, you know when the film releases digitally i want to really put out that version of mine right mujhe maar dalne ke liye aayi ho usse badla lene the uk asian film festival the theme was ray of hope and was that important when you made this film the subject of suicide and mental health yeah it's, as i said it's a very sensitive subject the problem that i have here is it's, see i have made a genre film which is exploring the theme of suicide and all of that uh, but it is not a social drama where you really you know dwell deep into it and yeah, yeah. Uh, in in a way for me that whole uh, thing about depression suicidal thoughts is kind of 
uh, is only a backstory that you don't even get to see a lot in the film. Yeah. You know, the film is more about the present than about the past. Right. Uh, but of course, the subject matter of uh, depression and mental health and all of that, especially in the times that we live in today, you know, in the middle of a pandemic, like where uh, most of us are confined to our homes. Sometimes I do feel that surviving and living itself is a blessing, like, you no, know, especially... You know, the cases in India are now piling up and you know, a lot of my friends have got you know, infected with uh, the disease. Why did you do that with us? What was our fault? Of course, the film was written and made at a very different time. And uh, you know, before the pandemic, all of that. But, but I'm not sure how far this film can play a role in that. But, but as a subject matter, in, when you look at it separately, but yes, you know, it's, it's a very big thing. There's a lot of focus now being given to the actual... You know, physical health, which is yeah. important too, but mental I, health is something uh, which has to be given more importance yeah, yeah. also yeah. is what I think, yeah. Thank you so much for that. Thanks for having me and uh, I would like to thank the UK Asian Film Festival for uh, you know, giving us this opportunity. I'm, I'm particularly excited that the film is also going to have a physical screening, not just this film, all the films, because at the end of the day, film watching it's a community exercise. You, know, you have to go into the dark room, sit there and watch a film with strangers. That's what gives the kick. So I'm really looking forward to that. And thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Good luck.